Hello students, today we are going to discuss J.E. Main 2025 question from a chapter Motion in Plane Kinematics, April Atan. So, it's a continuation chapter from Motion in Strike Line. So, if you did not see that video, the link in the description as well as the playlist. So, do watch that video for better understanding. So, we are going to see all the question in detail from the basics. So, don't miss this video. And to explore more regarding physics, we have a page in Instagram and WhatsApp channel. Join in the channel and the group to explore more regarding physics. So now we will see the questions. We will see the first question. A particle is projected with velocity u so that its horizontal range is 3 times the maximum height attained by it. So they have given the condition between range and height that is range r is equal to 3 times the height. The horizontal range of a projectile is given as n u square by 25 g. They are asking the value of n. Okay. So to handle this question, we can take the formula that is 4h is equal to r tan theta. Okay, so we can substitute the value for range that is 4h is equal to in the place of r 3h tan theta. So here h h will get cancelled. Balance tan theta is equal to 4 by 3. So now we have to find the angle of tan theta. So instead of derive, we can use a short method. The short method is if they are asking the angle with respect to 4, 3 and 5, we can take a right angle triangle. Let us consider we have a right angle triangle. So, hypotenuse 5 and this is 3. So, this angle will be 53. Okay. So, if you are taking here Pythagoras theorem, so this will be 4 and 90 minus 53 is 37. So, this angle is 37. Okay. So, here we have got it as tan theta is equal to 4 by 3. So, tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So, opposite is 4, adjacent is 3. So, the angle is 53. So, we found the angle that is theta is equal to 53. Okay. So, they are asking range. So, we can take the range formula. So, the formula for the range R is equal to u square. Instead of sine 2 theta, we can write it as 2 sine theta cos theta by g. Okay. So, we know theta is 53. So, we can substitute the value that is u square into 2. In the place of theta, it's 53. Sine 53 is opposite by hypotenuse. That is 4 by 5 into cos 53 is adjacent by hypotenuse. So, 3 by 5 by g. Okay. So, now we will calculate it. So, u square, uh, 2 4s are 8, 8 3s are 24. So, 24 by 5 5s are 25. 25 will come to the denominator. So, 25 g. That is equal to 24 u square by 25 g they asked in the form of n u square by 25 g so in the place of n we have 24 so n is 24 option 4 is the right answer we'll see the second question the angle of projection of a particle is measured from the vertical axis as phi the maximum height reached by the particle as such so they're asking the graph the relating between height and vertical axis phi so for that we can take the basic theory so in your school book we'd have studied that is, let us consider you are going to throw object with velocity u making an angle theta. We will make an angle theta with respect to the horizontal axis. And using this, we used to derive the formula. And we got the height that is h is equal to u square sin square theta by 2g. So, this you would have read in your school itself. Okay. But here they are asking the angle with respect to the vertical axis. So, the vertical axis means the making an angle vertical axis phi. So, we need the relation between theta and phi. Both are complementary angles. So, we can write it as 90 minus theta is equal to phi. So, here we know h is proportional to sin square theta. But we need with respect to vertical axis. So, we can take 90 minus theta. So, h is proportional to sin square 90 minus theta. Okay, 90 minus theta is a cos theta. So, h is proportional to cos square Instead of theta, we can write it as phi. Is it okay? So, we got the relation h is proportional to cos square phi. Okay. So, cos function. For cos function, if you are taking phi as 0 degree, cos 0 is 1. So, height will be maximum. And suppose if you are taking angle as 90 degree, cos 90 is 0. So, the height will go to 0. So, with respect to that, we can choose a graph. You can see option 3. So, when it is making an angle 0 degree, height is maximum. When theta is 90 degree, the height is 0. So, option 3 is the right answer. We will see the next question. Two ball with same mass and initial velocity are projected at a different angle in such a that maximum height reached by first ball is 8 times 
higher than the second ball. So first we'll take the given data. You have the two ball, first one and second one. Initial velocity that is u, okay. But different angle will consider that as theta 1 and theta 2. And they have given the condition for height that is maximum height reached by first ball is 8 times the higher than the second ball. That is h1 is 8 times higher than the h2, okay. So already we know the height formula that we have seen in the previous problem. That is h is equal to u square sine square theta by 2g. Okay, so the first one we will take the theta as theta 1. That is equal to 8 into for the second height u square sine square theta 2 by 2g. So the initial velocities are same. The angle is different. So now we will cancel the common term. 2g, 2g will get cancelled. u square, u square will get cancelled. Balance we can take sine square theta 2 to the opposite side. So, if you are taking that to opposite side, we will get it as sin square theta 1 by sin square theta 2 is equal to 8. So, we can take the square to the opposite side. So, we can write it as sin theta 1 by sin theta 2. We can take the square to the opposite side. That will become root 8. Okay. So, square root of 8 is 2 root 2. So, now we got the relation between the angle. Now, we have to find the time of flight. So, to find that one, we can take the formula. Time of flight t is equal to 2u sin theta by g. Okay. So, we can take t is proportional to sin theta because initial velocity is same. 2 by g is constant. So, for t1, it's theta 1. So, if you are taking t2, that is proportional to sin theta 2. If you are taking a ratio, that is sin theta 1 by sin theta 2 is 2 root 2. So, we will check the option 2 root 2 by 1. Option 1 is the right answer. Little are fired from ground with same initial speed at same point at different angle 45 plus alpha and 45 degree minus alpha with horizontal. The ratio of time of flight. Okay. So, first we will take time of flight formula that is T is equal to 2u sin theta by g. Okay. So, they have given its two projectile. Both has same velocity. Only the angle is getting different. So, we can take it as T is proportional to sin theta theta okay so the first one we can write it as t1 is proportional to sine in the place of theta we can write it as 45 plus alpha by again time t2 is proportional to sine 45 minus alpha they are asking in the form of ratio so we will take the ratio it is in the form of sine a plus b so we know the formula for sine a plus b sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so here a is 45 degree B is alpha. So, we will substitute that one. So, we can write it as T1 is proportional to sin A plus B. We can write it as sin A that is sin 45 and cos alpha plus cos 45 into sin alpha. So, same way we can write for time T2 also. So, time T2. T2 is proportional to sin A minus B. So, sin A minus B is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So, same pattern sin 45 cos alpha minus cos 45 sin alpha. Okay. So, now we can substitute the value. So, t1 by t2 is equal to sin 45 is 1 by root 2 into cos alpha plus cos 45 is 1 by root 2 into sin alpha by again sin 45 is 1 by root 2 cos alpha minus 1 by root 2 sin alpha. Okay. So, we can take 1 by root 2 as common. So, 1 by root 2 as common balance cos alpha plus sin alpha by 1 by 2 as common again cos alpha minus sin alpha. Okay. So, 1 by root 2 is common. So, we can cancel that one. Can, and now we can see the options. So, options are in the form of tan theta. So, we know sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So, I am going to substitute cos theta on both numerator and denominator. So, here we can take it as cos alpha. This is also cos alpha. In denominator also, here also cos alpha and cos alpha. Okay. So, here cos cos will get cancelled. It will become 1. So, that is 1 plus sin alpha by cos alpha that is tan alpha. So, that is tan alpha by again cos cos will get cancelled 1 minus again sin by cos 
again it will be tan alpha okay so 1 plus tan alpha by 1 minus tan alpha option 4 is the right answer okay, the next question an helicopter flying horizontally with a speed of 360 km per hour at altitude 2 km drops an object at an instant okay so let us consider this is ground and this is helicopter moving with some velocity u that is 360 km per hour it drops an object at a particular height the height is 2 km so when he drops the object the helicopter is moving horizontally because of that it will undergo a horizontal projectile so with velocity u okay so they are asking displacement of o from the position of a helicopter where the object has been released so this is point o so we have to find the displacement from the helicopter to the point o okay so already we know the vertical distance height so we need to find the horizontal distance range only then we can find this displacement okay so to find the range we have the formula r is equal to u into t where u is initial velocity that is 360 km per hour and time is 20 second okay but here the time is in second we have to convert to hour because as you can see the velocity the velocity is 360 km per hour it's in the form of hour so because of that this also we have to convert to r so we know 1 r is equal to 3600 second so we can convert 1 second is equal to 1 by 3600 r okay so now, so now we will substitute range r is equal to in the place of u that is 360 kilometer per hour the place of time we can substitute 20 second then instead of second we can substitute 1 by 3600 r okay so now we will cancel r r will get cancelled balance 0 0 will get cancelled here it will be 1 and this also will become 1. Okay, that is equal to 2 km. So, the range is 2 km. So, the vertical distance is 2 km and horizontal distance also 2 km. Now, we have to find the displacement. So, it is in the form of Pythagoras theorem that is right angle triangle. So, we can take Pythagoras theorem displacement is equal to square root of 2 square plus 2 square that will be 2 root 2 km. So, we will check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. We will see the last question of the session. A river is flowing from west to east direction with the speed 9 km per hour. Let us consider this is river. It is moving in a east to west direction. So, the direction of flow of river is on this side. Okay. So, the velocity of river they have given it as velocity of river is 9 km per hour. The boat is capable of moving maximum speed 27 km per hour in still water. So, the velocity of boat is 27 km per hour. Crosses the river in a half a minute. So, half a minute means T is equal to 1 by 2 minute. So, we will convert into R because we can see the velocity in the form of R. So, we can convert to R. So, 1 by 2. 1 minute we have to convert to R. That is 1 by 60 R. That will be 1 by 120 R. Okay. While moving the maximum speed at the angle 150 degree to the direction of river flow. So, from the direction of river flow 150 degree. Okay. So, it is moving in this direction. So, this is 150. Okay. So, we can divide it as this is 90. Okay. Balance this will be 60. Okay. So, 60 plus 90 total it is 150. So, it is a river flow direction. From the river flow direction it is 150. Okay. But here we want to take the angle with respect to the vertical only. So, from the river flow that is from the horizontal which is 150. But for the vertical it is just a 60 degree. And this is the direction of uh, velocity of the boat. Okay. Now, we can divide the component. If this is BB and it is making an angle with respect to the vertical. This will become cos theta. So, this will be BB cos theta. Is it okay? So, now we can take velocity is equal to displacement by time. So, the vertical velocity is VB cos theta and the displacement is the width of the river which is we can take it as D by the time is T. Okay. So, they are asking to find the width of the river which is D. Okay. Now, we can substitute the value that is velocity of the boat is 27 km per hour and cos 60. So, cos 60 is 1 by 2. Now, we can take it as cos 60 that is equal to width of the river is D and time is half minute that is 1 by 120 hour that is 1 by 120 hour it will go to the opposite side so 27 cos 60 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 120 is equal to width of the river so now we will cancel it so this will become 9 and this is 40 
as it has many AP, that is a kilometer, that is a width of the river. But they, in the option, you can see it is in the meter. So, we can write it as 9000 by 80 meter. Okay. So, 0, 0 will get cancelled. So, 900 by 8 will get it as 112.5 meter. This is the width of the river. We check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. Students, we have reached end of the session. So, if you like this video, share to your friends. And if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video, please do comment it. And to watch more video like this, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you students.